Hey guys, it's Kyle Mills, your midday guy here on The Whale, and we are now on week four of our women's self-defense series. Last week we covered some stuff from the uh, mounted control position. He's got you mounted, hands pinned to the ground, and uh, it's not a good position to be in what to do from there. So if you haven't seen that, scroll down. The link is gonna be um, right there in the body of it. It'll take you back to last week's so you can catch up with where, where we're at this week. And this week we're gonna cover a uh, similar position, except the legs aren't here. The legs are then now between yours. Much scarier position, right? Because, well, <laughs> it's a much scarier position. We'll figure that out in a minute. So we've gotten to a position now where last week we were here. We're holding, you know, holding her down. We're in this position here with control. Or I'm doing this. All right, this is basically hurting you, trying to get you to maybe uh, knock you out, pass you out, or just plain hurt you. All right. This week we're going to cover something different, and it's even a bit scarier because, well, it includes that R word that I don't know if I'm allowed to say. Um, so I've gotten between the legs, right, and I'm now controlling from here. I've got either control here or I'm working on the belt. Now that's a scary position to be in, so we're going to show uh, what it is to do from there. Um, there are a couple things to keep in mind. Where is my base and where is my center of gravity? So what, what you want is for me to get a high center of gravity so it's easier to tip me over. So we're going to show in a moment what's in there. Now in, in a sports setting, in like a jiu-jitsu sports setting, this would be called the, uh, the guard position. Right? This is an open guard. If I had her in here into a closed guard, then that would be what you see a lot of times like in the UFC type stuff. So here, she's between my legs and time is really of the essence, right? I've got to be uh, quick about this. So what I need to think about is where is her base and where is her center of gravity? Her base is fairly narrow at this point, but her center of gravity is high. So I need to bring her, her over this position. So she's trying to maybe get at my belt or the wrists here. What I'm gonna do is, let's say she's trying to get to my belt, right? I've got her hands right here. I'm gonna control two, two, on, two on two basically up here, or I can go two on one. And what I want to keep in mind is, if I'm in this position, I'm never flat on my back. I want to be off to the side, controlling off to the side and controlling the wrists. Because if she's trying to get control of my belt and I'm fighting just a little bit, they, they don't want victims that fight back, right? So I'm here and I'm you know controlling her wrists. Now if she's got a high posture, I'm gonna then take my legs and turn those into um, like a scissor, basically. So I'm here, I've got this one nice and low. This one's gonna come up, knee her right about the armpit, and up and over. 